Good morning everyone and I'm just coming to you with another video. This time we're going to be talking about uh, the polling questions. I had to put several polling questions out there for you to interact with me. Give me your take on certain things that I may have covered through videos uh, for the last three weeks on um, trending um, subjects out there in social media. Um, I did quite a few videos each week and just the holidays and everything just got me thrown back and I extended it out and now I am bringing to you the polling questions and the results from those polling questions that you all partook of and gave me your honest answer on whatever I was I was asking you regarding the video that you were being seen throughout the weeks or uh, just questions I put on my social media platform for you all to interact with me and you know we can just be communicating with each other throughout the week so it just won't be so humdrum here and there okay so the polling question results are in we're starting back from december 15th up to december 29th and they read as follows okay and if you don't know where you are which you should at this point but if you're new to the channel um, you're at Delp Chanel's 48th World Channel where we do reviews and uh, recaps on pretty much anything that we want to talk about over here. Mostly we do reviews on Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as Married to Medicine and any celebrity news that may come across my news feed and I feel like I have an opinion about it. Put it out on my platform, ask you all what y'all felt about it, and that's how we do over here. It is a family affair. Only thing I ask for you to do is just be respectful to the people that are in the chat. Make friends if you must, okay? But only thing that I ask is that you be respectful when you um, write down your comment in the comment section. Speak on the subject matter, not necessarily the people that are actually putting their viewpoints in don't do any beefing or anything like that and we'll be just fine and of course i ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm getting giving you far as entertainment and then if you're not held still subscribe okay that helps me out all right and you may like me as time goes on all right so those two things plus another one added like and share my videos okay but again i am deb chanel and you're at deb chanel's 48th world now let's get on into the those uh, polling questions with the results for again like I said December 15th uh, through December 29th and they range from questions being asked of you about Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members as well as Merit and Medicine and just celebrities out there cutting up in social media the first polling question was um, asked of you all do you think Cynthia Bailey was wrong or right to confront Kenya Moore and spilling the beans to her that Mike was going to propose to her and overwhelmingly supporters of the question 84 percent to be exact said Cynthia was right to confront Kenya Moore about what she did while 16 percent of you all said Cynthia was wrong to confront Kenya it wasn't a big deal anyway okay then we went to the next polling question it said Nene Leeds comes on uh, her Instagram platform and tries to put some rumors to rest especially the one about talking and meeting Mark Daly behind Kenya Moore's back. Nene says it's wait a minute. Nene says it's no truth to those false allegations. Do you believe her? Okay, sixty-five percent of you all said yes, I believe Nene. If she says the rumors are false, then I believe her, while thirty-five percent of you all said no, Nene is lying and the truth will come out uh about it sooner or later. Okay. We go back to the next polling question. It was asked, um, do you think Cynthia Bailey lets Kenya Moore, as well as others, punk her out on a daily basis? Okay, and punk just really means not standing up for yourself. Always letting people put you down. Okay, an overwhelming response of you all, 71% to be exact, said, yes, yeah, Cynthia just doesn't know how to assert herself and the cats while 29 percent of you all said no Cynthia's just cool like that okay the next polling question was do you believe snoop dogg meaning the rap artist cheated on his wife with an instagram thought her name is called cynthia or selena or selena oh selena powell 
Uh, 75% of you all said yes, he's guilty as charged, at least on social media anyway. While 25% of you all said no, he didn't cheat. Okay. Uh, next polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore would try to use her mom, Patricia Moore, allegedly, as her storyline for season 13, if Real Housewives of Atlanta gets approved for one? 82% of you all said yes, she is going to draw her mom in and put her on blast for the negative. While 18% of you all said no, she wouldn't do that for any amount of money or attention. <laughs> boy boy oh boy okay the next polling question was do you think kenya moore was right for telling cynthia that mike is going to propose to her that night during her event um 100 percent of you all said of course it was only four vote four votes uh said no king was dead wrong in that action she took okay Next polling question was, do you think Cynthia and Candy need to watch Kenya Moore more closely as regarding her as a true side or ride or die chick, real diehard friend for them? 80% of you all said yes, because she moves kind of funny these days. While 20% of you all said no, their friendship is as solid as it has always been. Okay. The next polling question was, do you think Dr. Jackie and Buffy Parcell uh, will ever be friends on the Married to Medicine show? 75% uh, of you all said, uh-uh, no way, it ain't going to happen. While 25% of you all said, yes, there is a chance. Okay. Do you? The next polling question was, do you think Quad Webb from Married to Medicine slept with Common, the music artist, and Dr. Heavenly, as Dr. Heavenly had suggested on the show, that she did. Well, it was it was kind of tied there. Or not tied, it was closely tied, though. 49% of you all said no, Quad and Common didn't sleep together. While 51% of you all said yes, Quad and Common slept together. Okay? <laughs> then, I don't know if I said this particular polling question but we're gonna go into it anyway we have to go and repeat some because like i said it had been a long uh holiday season and i was busy i was doing things catching up before the holidays and now we're going in a, to our neutral uh side and we're trying to slide into the new year as easy as possible but we want to straighten out some loose ends okay the next polling question was do you think kenya owe marlo an apology for crashing her event um meaning that wig event that she had and kenya came in now with the five-piece band all right uh 75 percent of you all said yes she does owe marlo an apology while 25 percent of you all said no she don't Another polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore was right for ca crashing uh, Marlo Hampton's event? 77% uh, of you all said no. While 23% of you all said yes, she was right for crashing Marlo's event. Okay. Do you think, meaning the next polling question, that Candy Burris should do more to make Kayla financial life a lot better than what Todd wants for her? his oldest daughter 67 percent of you all said yes she should do more and better by kayla while 33 percent of you all said no she should stay out of it the last and final polling question was do you think todd tucker is an awful not in tune with his daughter kayla's feelings 88 percent of you all said yes and 12 percent of you all said no Okay, I want to thank you again for um, going on my community feed section on my channel and taking the polling questions. And we will have some more uh, coming out. I think I'm going to rest for the rest of this week and catch back up that first week in January and start the polling back. Because it's a lot going on. I know with everyone. And I know when you have down times, you pretty much just want to watch videos or watch TV or just hang out with your family. So I need some time too. Because <laughs> I got to take my Christmas tree down. I got to get my hair fixed and take my mom to get her hair fixed. It's just a lot of things. And I have to set up my calendar for next year for appointments and other appointments that are pending. Um, that we you know ended up having to have to have follow-up visits from this year 
Uh, so y'all be safe. Y'all have a great, happy rest of the holiday season. Have a great New Year's Eve. Don't party too much. Don't drink too much. And be safe as always. And I'll see you next video, guys. Bye-bye.